this is going to move up with every ring instead of having it spring from the ground. And at that point, you could potentially, like with a larger dome like this, have like lag, you know, in the, in the chain. And you might pull it and it'll stretch, you know. So for like a bigger diameter like this, like using something like this is really, really easy and uh, just makes your life a lot easier. No, so it's super simple. Um, good old Nicholas went out and got us these materials. So all it really is, is these two little couplings, okay? This one's gonna be our pivot point, right. okay? As we reach our higher and higher elevation. And this one is there to just secure it in the position. So with every row, every couple rows, we'll unfasten this, move it up till it's level with the next course, and then we'll adjust it according to the height compass. Mm -hmm. Golden, the, Gabby? The pole is made for a fence post, so it's outside. Uh, at Home Depot, and the couplings are in the plumbing section. Oh, one and a half inch. One and yeah. a half. Yeah. Right. yeah. Um, usually, like the simplest we go with the compass is you guys familiar with like those green like dog stakes, right? That's what we use for small domes, like at Cal Earth, right? And you can use that for a height and a center compass. Uh, I got my level out right now, you know, so we got to make sure that this thing is level and consistent So we're gonna go way the heck into the ground and really make sure that it's fastened so that as we get higher It doesn't you know start to lean mm -hmm. and anything We're gonna try not to pull on it super hard yeah. because we want that measurement to stay as accurate as we can You know to get a nice Consistent coil as we go mm -hmm. up. So pretty self-explanatory, right? Mm -hmm. Right what what's the um, yes. what's the amount of height that you need on a pole? Um, for, a, for a large dome like this, so we, we have our 15 foot you know, main diameter dome on a one foot spring line. So ideally you'd, you'd like this to be probably like 10 feet tall. Okay, This is an eight foot pole. It's going to be fine. Just as we get to you know this elevation, um, we're just going to have to put a fastener on top so that it can't pop off, you know, yeah. when we're up there. Um, but this is going to be totally fine. And um yeah and you'll get you guys will see how we uh, fasten the height compasses later on because remember we have those spring lines so we're springing from that elevation that i was talking about that 12 inch or for would be uh for the smaller apps it's an 18 inch spring line okay <coughs> so we're going to set all of our center compasses now we're going to draw our footprints and the height compasses will come in later so we'll be laying cylinders okay so that this makes it super easy because if you're if your stake was say fastened to the ground you have to do some finagling because you know it's going to be a different length at here at the base than it is even just right here oh, right. right here right here yeah so with this it's super simple because with each elevation that we're that we're messing with we just pop it up a little bit and it's that same exact measurement as we go okay you know how much you spent on this i think those were like probably 26 bucks and the couplings were like five dollars a piece and it's something you can reuse them over and over and over. You know, it's just like a really good thing to have. We've, we've had the same ones exactly like this at Cal Earth for 10, 12, 15 years. Cool, so I'm gonna make sure that this is very clear where my center point is. And we're just gonna dig a good old hole, okay? And I wanna go at least probably 18 inches down. And what we're gonna do, since this stuff is so loose, we're gonna pack, you know, in intervals with, you know, soil and gravel, and we're gonna put some water in it and compact as we go to make sure that it's really, really stuck in there. We don't want this thing tipping at all and maybe jeopardizing like the accuracy of, of our dome, especially once we get to the top. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Yeah, okay, no, it's going places. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hey. 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 Here is attached no, my raise this up, keeping it flat. You notice I don't want to have it down here because look, I just lost six whole inches. Mm -hmm. Alright. Story of my life. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 no, hold that there. Yeah, right. we're gonna have him. Oh, okay. so you. And now I'm going to relieve that part of the chain. And now we're waiting on our best friend Nick mm -hmm. to bring a keychain for us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, actually, for the center compass, 
I'm gonna leave a little bit of slack on it just because it helps. Mm -hmm. um, especially if we were to be doing our foundation. And, I'm kind of awkward. You know, laying back. Oh, you're good, girl. Oh. Sorry, okay. could have done that. <laughs> um, so this loop right here. Okay. Which is our that? diameter. Which is our radius. 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 Yeah. yeah. I did the same thing. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to leave some space because we know our bag is going to be 18 inches. Mm -hmm. So we're going to measure that. We're going to find the exterior of our bag as well. What about another one? Um, Two bags. We can p mark that out as well. And we would oh. if we were going subterranean. For oh, our okay. Trench. okay. Subterranean. Yeah. Bubbles possible. I'll try to make that really consistent. And tight. Okay. Yo, you might want to get to the outside because I don't. You, I'll Sorry. be, I'll be chasing you. Okay. Fuck mm -hmm. <laughs> And I'm gonna draw. This is. My bed's going here. Is grab a cup of flour and mark out where this line is. Okay. So what's the, we're using 18 inch bags, right? Yes. And then you once want they're it to be at full, the end of this. once yeah. they're full, how, how they're going to be about 16, 16 okay. maybe 15 inches, depending on how, how fat we how, lay them. Yeah. So we want that at the end of there too. So that's going to be this link right here. At 18. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. Oh, the edge of it. Yeah. Okay. Like so. So that'll be where the rebar is. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to move it. Just watch out for the flag yeah. behind you. Now we got one pull, two pull, center pull. These poles are for our other apses, the center of them. We'll make chalk out the other things here momentarily. <laughs> <laughs>